This is a chart that shows brain size in the same population. Now, this is the population of southern Africa. This is a very tip. This is the ancestors of today's San populations. What's happened to brain size is that it has shrunk. And this regression is males, and this regression is females. It's shrunk over the last few thousand years. Brains are shrinking. Southern Africa is in no way unique. I put it first because I wanted to make that point in body size. Brains are shrinking. The body is not changing in size. And also to make the point that this is worldwide. Here's Europe. Europe, this is endocranial volume means in males on the top and females uh, next. The only disjoint here in this distribution is I don't have a sample of Roman era females to go in a spot. Uh, what happened? Early Upper Paleolithic people, people who lived 25,000 to 15,000 years ago, had bigger brains than Neanderthals. A lot of you who know anthropology have heard Neanderthals had bigger brains than us. It's true. Neanderthals did have bigger brains than us, but they didn't have bigger brains than the people who followed them in Europe. Those people's brains were expanding until about 10,000 years ago when they started to shrink. The shrinking that's happened since 10,000 years ago, as they've gone down in males and in females by about 150 cubic centimeters. If we went down by another 150, we would be homo erectus size. This is a big change. The standard deviation in endocranial volume, this measure today, the standard deviation in this is about 87 uh, cubic centimeters. So we've changed by almost two standard deviations. 